All right, it is now 8 o'clock local time on this 17th day of September 2018. It's time for Sports Chat. Now, 30-year-old Sarah Aching is among the few professional female boxers in Kenya. In a span of 10 years, she has grown to become a figure of inspiration to other amateur boxers in the country. Today on Sports Chat, we get to know her a little bit better. In today's edition of Sports Chat, we go just a little bit deeper into Nairobi, a place also known as Kariobangi. Now, standing just behind me is a structure which is known as Kariobangi Social Hall. Now, it may not be as big as such, but this is a big deal. It is a home of talent and specifically boxing talent, known for bringing up amateur, young and upcoming, and also professional boxers. Let's take a look at what is happening inside this hall. <laughs> Joining me right now is 30-year-old Sarah Chien, one of the professional female boxers who has been in the industry for around 10 years now. Sarah, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good, yeah. Being in the field for 10 years is such a big deal. Tell us a little bit more about why you have been in this field for 10 years. Uh, I've been in this field uh, for 10 years because of the passion I have for boxing. Yeah, um, and also uh, concerning the plans that I have in me as a, in boxing career as a female fighter, I've not been able to achieve them. So uh, 10 years is just um, a number, and I'm still going on with that other many years to come. So yeah, it's, it's, it's because of the love of the sport that I have for boxing, and it's also because I want to continue uh, mentoring other upcoming girls in our society. Now you are one among the many, rather few, sorry, female boxers in the country. How good or bad, how easy or hard has it been for you in the years that you've been in the field? Okay, the, the, the big challenge that uh, we have been having as female boxers in, uh, in Kenya especially, uh, we are not that recognized, uh, especially with our government in Kenya. This, this sport is not that uh, well recognized uh, and also we, we, we like so many fights. We, we don't have uh, promoters who can come on the board and promote good fights for us. So it's a bigger challenge for female fighters. And you also find sometimes when the, when the promoters uh, normally uh, schedule for fights, uh, bigger tournaments, uh, you find that uh, females are left behind. You only find like two, two females uh, among the rounds that have been uh, scheduled for, for men is more than the, the ones that have been scheduled for female to fight. So it's quite a challenge for women, in bo to women who are fighting in boxing. Um, yeah, and it's also a challenge because uh, this sport has always been uh, known for a male-dominated sport. So with us women who are uh, really trying to uh, do something uh, great for, for boxing also to be known in Kenya, it's not that taken seriously because it's a male-dominated sport. So if you are involved in boxing, it's like um, the society feels, even the friends feel that uh, you are being become more aggressive, you become more rude to the society, you be, become someone who cannot be understood, someone who can just fight anyone anyhow. So it's quite a challenge for, for women also in boxing. Just to take you back in time, why did you decide to begin boxing in the very first place? Yeah, so my, my, main, for, my main aim for, uh, for training to become a boxer it's because uh, one day when I was uh, going for a jogging in the, in the evening around Buruburu area, a man just slapped me and uh, walked away. So I didn't know the motive behind the slap. So my main aim was to come to the gym, train hard and revenge to any man who can, any, car, any person who can come and attack me. Because by then I didn't know how to defend myself. I wish I could have known how to defend myself back then when they slapped, when I was being slapped. So my main aim was to come and have those skills and also to enable me to apply them anyhow because um, through boxing also, boxing teaches about self-defense. But uh, through the training that I've been going, through the training that I've been trained uh, from Boxgas Kenya, 
I've learned uh, that boxing is not only about fighting. It has enabled me also to, 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 to become a leader. Boxing has really promoted my leadership as far as yeah, uh, because the soft skills that uh, we normally learn here, uh, I believe those are the skills that an effective and transformative leader should have, like uh, being confident, having time management, and so, so focusing, committing yourself to what you want to achieve. Also, boxing also teaches um, about um, challenges gender security, because uh, as I said, the community normally know that these bodies are male dominant also, but with us, we have taken it seriously, we are trying to change that uh, stereotyping, Thing. And now, right now, the community, the perception from the community has really changed, and they are really trying to see that this sport is not aggressive, but it is it's a sport that women can also um, participate in and also get something to, to, to help them in their day to day life. And before your case, um, your defense case that made you join boxing, mm -hmm. had you displayed any interest in boxing as a sport? No, I never, I never had any interest before because I used to, I used to play volleyball back then in my primary, uh, in prim primary school. So when, um, when, uh, when I finished my secondary school, um, I didn't have any kind of job. I didn't. I was just back at home. So that's when I met Alfred because he used to train with one of my my cousins. So that's how I, how I came to know about boxing. The cousin encouraged me to come and join boxing instead of just sitting back home and doing nothing. And how many girls through, go through a similar scenario as you was, whereby they are harassed for no specific reason? I think there are so many women who are being harassed outside, and they are. They are, they are just silent. They, they don't speak about it. They don't, they don't voice out on those kind of issues. They are just quiet. I believe there are so many women who are going through difficult situations, difficult issues around, and uh, they also need to come up and speak about them. Because Kunyamaza is was idea. Yeah. And so far, tell us a little bit about your competitive, the competitive aspect of the sport in relation to maybe how many titles you have gotten so far. I have three three belts. Uh, in total, I've fought 13 times, uh, and uh, out of 13, I have two losses and uh, six KOs. The rest have won on points. And uh, my first belt, uh, I won in 2011. It was under featherweight category, 57 kgs. And uh, my second belt was in um, 2015. It was under lightweight category, 61 kgs. And my last belt, I fought in Russia in 2015. Uh, it was a universal boxing organization belt where I won also by points, yeah. And so far, would you say the state of boxing is good or bad? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the current state I'm seeing there's quite improvement as compared to the last fights that we have seen. Um, but uh, I, uh, back then it has not been that good, the chances have not been that good because uh, uh, as as, as, as boxers, we normally train. You can even train for two years or even three years without having uh, that uh, good fight to fight. So uh, this, this, has, this kind of changing somehow, but um, the government still needs to do something. It's the government and also the, the commission and even the promoters. They really need to scale up and uh, uh, promote many fights for us because this is what we, we love doing. This is what we know how to do best. And without having those kind of fights, it's kind of stressing and it's kind of draining us uh, too much uh, in our lives. How, what are some of the challenges that you face in the boxing industry, just to be very specific? The boxing equipment, as you can see, our gym, how our gym is looking like, is not that uh, good. Uh, we need uh, at least a very uh, good environment where we can come and train and just do our things and feel Feel free to do anything. You see, you have seen how the area, the area looks like. So, I think it's the fight. Good fights. We don't have good fights, and we uh, that support and recognition. Because then, when I went to Russia and come back with the belt, I couldn't recognize. I just congratulations, congrats, but nothing was done. I couldn't get you to say So, meaning Kenya too. Ni kienda uko majundo. At least an like, you know, when, you are, when you come back home, you are just a normal Sarah.
In all of uh, your fights, how many were local and how many were international, considering you're vouching for more fights as a boxer? I think the, one, the, the, the international one is uh, just the one that I won in Russia. The rest have been fighting here at, back at home. Yeah. And how would you say, rather, what is the standard number of fights that a boxer would like to have in maybe a span of just one year? In a span of one year, I think uh, three good fights. Three good fights is, uh, is good for us. Three good fights because it, it will give you a, a good duration to prepare well uh, for the training. Yeah, and also to have enough time to at least rest in between uh, for the fights. And by saying three good fights, do you mean three good international fights, local fights, or with who exactly that will elevate you to the status that you want? Yeah, it can it can be either international or fight. It doesn't matter. International. What we want is good fight. Good fights can also be promoted here in Kenya because if you go even international there. Uh, coming back with a win is kind of uh, is 50 50 for them because they, with them they also know how to protect their boxers. So if you go to international fights, uh, possibility of winning in Akwanga 50 50. You have to at least KO you someone for them to, to give you that, 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 that the, 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 nini, the win that you want. So, power to promote. We have good people who can promote us back at home. What was so different about Zarika and Mercado's fight as compared to the fights that we normally have in the country? I think um, I'll say the, the promotion, the, the how the, the promo, how it was promoted, the, the, the standard that they, that that, that they, 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 the promoter uh, uh, put towards that fight and the way they marketed it. I think that was something that uh, we have never seen here in Kenya. So um, I think if you can have uh, uh, people who can come on board, like uh, the, MPES, the Sport Pesa team, uh, to promote more good fights like the one that you have seen uh, from Zarika and Makado, yeah, it will also boost uh, the confidence and the morale of the people, even upcoming boxers who want to take boxing as their career. What can you say about fairness when, it's, when it comes to the competitive level of the sport? Do you experience instances whereby you're judged unfairly or is it smooth sailing throughout? <laughs> Uh, sometimes, yeah, this has always, uh, it has always happened unto me. Uh, during my fight with uh, Judy Wagudi, uh, we've been having conflict of interest uh, uh, to, uh, towards some fights, uh, like the one I have with Judy Wagudi. Uh, I thought uh, it was a good fight, we fought well, uh, and I thought I won. But, um, you know, I'm not a judge. The, 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 the judge score. Um, they gave Judy a win, and uh, I really felt I really felt bad because I thought I was the winner. But that is part of the game. Sometimes, as um, as boxers, uh, you have to know how to, to man manage a loss. It's not only how you win. What matters also how can you manage that loss and uh, pick it from where from 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 from, from where I, you've left it or from apu kwenye kidogo. In this case of unfairness, did you try and make an attempt at appealing the win? Yeah, my coach uh, tried so, uh, but nothing was done about it. Walisema wata wata yangalia. Walisema wata wata angalia yu maneno. And that maneno, we always uh, wanted to see that maneno itakuwa aji. Eh? Outcome itakuwa aji. We've never seen anything done. Na kuna many fights that we are seeing zinakonga, zinakonga and judge fairly, judge fairly. So even with the, the officials of the Kenya professional boxing, they really need to um, work on that. Really work on that. Kwa sababu sisi wote tunatrain, na kila mtu anataka hiyo shindi. If someone wins, let huyo mtu apewe haki yake. It's a right, akishinda is his right, akishinda apewe. Historia conflict of interest in a fair issue. Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo itatusaidia ku move on as boxers. Yeah. Uh, boxing commission elections are just around the corner. What would you want with the new government? 
So with the new government uh, that is coming on board, uh, we just want them to uh, exercise the, 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 the constitution according to what the constitution say. Wasiende, wasikuje na mambo yao. Wa follow the system, how the system runs, wa follow the constitution, how it's supposed to work. Na hizo ndi tutasugai. Kwa sababu hiyo itasaidia kujua responsibilities zetu kama boxer, rights zetu kama boxer, nao pia jukumulao kama ofisi. Kwa sababu if they don't work, we, are, we, are, we have the power to go and uh, demand kwanini wajafanya ABCD. So they really need to work upon that constitution and follow how the system is supposed to work. Recently you got a new constitution. Do you think this is going to help raise the standards of boxing in the country? I think it will help as long as uh, yeah, what to work with what we realistic about it. Na pi, we, sisi pia kama boxer tuweze kukua educated, tuweze kukua informed concerning that constitution. Kwa sababu constitution without kujua ni nini constitution ni nasema, it's just, a, it's just a paper. So we really need to be uh, taken through uh, what the constitution is all about, which to lifanyiwa, at least uh, we know our rights, na tunajua kazi iko kwao. Anything our fanyi kwa sababu ya power zao. Kwa sababu ya their own selfish benefits. Yes, kwa sababu are boxers. So they really need to look upon welfare of boxers as well. And in 10 years, how have you been able to give back to the community as a female boxer in the country? So as a female boxer in the country, I work with Box Girls Kenya. Yeah, it's an organization that uses boxing as a tool to tackle in issues that affect our youngers and women in the marginalized community of Nairobi. So we are using boxing. Box is just an entry point among other uh, programs that we run uh, to help the girls who are in marginalized community because we feel as an organization these girls are the girls uh, maybe while we watch one sana so if they have someone to really speak help them speak about their issues as girls that is what we are doing as boxers but we also have other programs that we run like uh, leadership and mentorship and also we have the economic and entrepreneurship so yeah that's what we do as an organization and how much ground does box girls cover maybe in nairobi or in kenya as a whole so we work in uh, an area of kibera kariobangi kayole uh, madare uh, we are also in uh, western part of uh, uh, western part of Kenya, and we are able as uh, we are able to reach uh, around to 2,000 girls, and um, yeah, 2,000 girls. And our age group is uh, from 9 to 23 years. Those are the girls that we are reaching. Do you have a specific uh, category, rather things that you look at when bringing in girls to the foundation, or is it? upon someone to just decide I want to join this foundation? So a specific, uh, actually it's, it's just an uh, age, age category. If you are in that category group that you want and also if you come from marginalized community, yeah, those are the, the, the only category that we are that we are, the specific criteria that we are using to reach out to them. There's nothing else. So far you have about 2,000 girls and other than just boxing practice, you offer among others education. Among all those girls, how many have been able to join the boxing field, either amateur, upcoming, or even at the professional level? Uh, you, uh, the ones that we have, because the, the team that we started with, majority of them have just cleared from four levels. But we have uh, teams like uh, in junior, we also have uh, the youngers who we are saying they are in junior team uh, under amateur boxing. And the ones that are coming right now, they are still under training and uh, to become coaches and also mini coaches. They are the ones who, after finishing their secondary level, they are the ones who are coming back to the organization to give back to the organization and train other girls. So we are seeing um, like two of them are in the national team, Beatrice Akoth and even the other girls, and we also have the younger girls, very good girls, who we believe in future they are going to be great boxers. What happens to some of these girls who show immense potential in the boxing field? Is there any special treatment accorded to them or they're just treated uh, the same way with every other girl in the foundation? <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's kind of tricky. Uh, something special. Uh, we normally motivate them. Like uh, the ones who have shown interest, uh, we normally uh, give scholarship. A full scholarship to, to them, um, primary and even to the secondary level, yeah. And is there a women's boxing team in Kenya? Yeah, we have women boxing team in Kenya, yeah. How good or bad does it fare in the competitive level? 
<laughs> competitive level. Competitive level uh, in terms of amateur, uh, Kunawale wana we met presenting in the Olympics and also in the Commonwealth. Yeah, we have them and in professional boxers, in professional boxing we also have women who are very good, who are going international and like, having good, very good fights internationally. So yeah, women we are really coming, we are really coming in boxing industry. Maybe what is the composition of the women's boxing team that includes the professional boxers? Who are some of the professional women boxers in the women's boxing team? Uh, in Amasha or a professional? Uh, we have Zarika, uh, Zarika Fatuma, we have Judy Wagudi, Flores Mudoni, Ebali Nodero, uh, Caroline, we have uh, Charity Mukami. We have so many, we have so many good boxers. Yeah. And would you compare the men's boxing team and the women's boxing team on both grounds? That is the competitive level from the amateur to the professional level. Uh, that one I cannot compare uh, because, uh, like I said before, uh, wake, you know this uh, community to imeweka iki tunekamani ya wanaume. So, uh, as compared to competitive level, men wako on a higher standard than, uh, than women. And as you began boxing, what was the reception of the male boxers to you, a female? Uh, I think uh, with the community, my with the community, they were against it. And uh, in fact, I was once told that um, I was once told that I was once told that I was once told I was very told and very aggressive for even uh, my family. But, um, even up IV, when we started, one normal one on an ikama is like we wanted to give them competition. We want to we want to compete ourselves to, to, to look what not to compete now. But nowadays uh one on a two ike to near CC water. Yeah, I couldn't get to your one woman or one award. What went through your mind when you were told that you don't belong here? Uh nearly feel uh, discriminated and isolated for Sababu. I uh, nearly feel uh, like I um, have a space for community. I it's like I have a lot of work. 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 I feel like my rights are being denied. Now, away from boxing, do you have a family? Of course I have a family. And how do you manage to balance family and boxing at the same time? Uh, so what I normally do when you come to uh, boxing uh, training, you focus with the training. When you go home, uh, you focus with the family. When you are at work, yeah, you just have to balance everything. Because at the end of the day, it's a bit uzote, it's an idea. So you just have to know how to balance it. Do you have? Uh, do you face a scenario whereby your husband is hesitant about you going for boxing practice? Um, we are not and what does he say about you and boxing? Does he support you? Of course, sana ni support. Sana, sana, sana. Na na feel enye we ni me ni ko very strong. I'm a very strong woman. Na na ni support the way I am. Na na ilewa, na ilewa industry a boxing bizuri. Na he really supports me. Why do you train in Kariobangi Social Hall when you can go out there and look for better places to train? I think Kariobangi Hall is. Um, the place in here is my boxers wazuri, my champions wengi wana kubanga hapa hivi Kariobangi. And I really feel that Kariobangi na feel up and yo kuna hati lea kubigando. Kuna places mina oneze nda kutren manze uanze kulegea, uanze ku once you relax, you feel you are in a comfort zone. So, if you if you come here, that we may even come here. You know, people are very serious with what they want, and also Kariobangi is where I feel like I can also meet. Kama kuna mde maneza kujia one kama sarame toka Kariobangi. I think ineza kuwa ineza motivate in a way. Aone. It doesn't matter where you come from, whether it is from slum, you can still make it. If Sarah can make it from Kariobangi, why not them? How long have you been training in this specific hall? I've been training for eight years in this specific hall. Yeah. And so generally, how far would you want to go with boxing? To what level? <laughs> 
as long as I'm fit eh nitaendelea tu nitaendelea but uh, kuna time inafika anga una feel yenyewe it's a high time you either become a coach na uzidi kumenta wao wengine when that time comes yenye siwezi sema yeah itafika tu and how else would you want to develop yourself in boxing do you want to remain a professional boxer or the other things that uh, have to do with boxing you want to pursue yeah when i'm done with boxing labda tu ni angalie venye naweza continue ku ku ku, ku, ku saidia wasichana wale eh, the girls who want not only the girls but also people who feel that they want to take boxing as their career i can either become a coach and also assist them yeah just to have my own gym where i can train them and feel about they come and feel about good about themselves they work upon their body their health yeah and feel good about their body yeah. We may have focused our spotlight on Sarah Achin, but she's not the only boxer who has been training. When we come back, we are going to speak to other boxers and get to know a little bit more about them and why they treasure Kariobangi Social Hall. All right, and uh, just like uh, informed, well, we'll be right back with more boxing.